Pattern. Show. Hold on. Welcome uh, back, everyone. Yeah. Hey, it's Tony uh, Kosowski here, uh, a garden guy. We, you know him. We show him. We have him on the air all the time. Yeah, good to see you. Happy New Year. Hey, thanks so much, you guys too. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, we we love it. this idea, and we love that two in a row, two days. We have you brought your cast iron skillet in here. We love yes. cast yeah, iron. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, yeah, and you brought some funky mushrooms. So we're talking mushrooms today. We are, and we've got everything here um, from actually the inoculated grain spawn. Which so is, what is what, this? Yeah, this tell kind us of what this smells. Is first. So basically, second. this is going to be almost like mushroom seed, except for mushrooms actually work with spores. So this is basically the mycelium has spread throughout this uh, block and then we take this and you could either slit holes in it, mm -hmm. keep it in a humid environment and mushrooms will actually pop out of here. What is mycelium? Mycelium is kind of like the roots or the, the body of the mushroom. The okay. fruit is the actual mushroom. So these would be mushroom fruits. This is going to be um, a, a mycelial mass, and then okay. if you, mushrooms actually need oxygen to grow, so if you put a little slit, a couple slits in here, you would actually grow this one right here. Oh, that's and mushroom. you can what you can eat these, mushroom? right? These are all edible. Can I pick this up? And absolutely. So that's a blue <laughs> oyster mushroom, which actually does really well in the winter time with our cooler temperatures. That one will actually take up freezing temperature. So you can grow this here. Absolutely. Like where? Outside uh, your you house. You can do it in your garden, and that's what we do. That's what I've been doing with a lot of gardens here so in Phoenix. So let's let's talk about this it one right really here because good. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this. It's and pretty I, far out. Anyone right? at home has seen it. Yeah. It's like this is a pink oyster mushroom, and these guys actually do a little bit better in the heat. So this is a really good one for Arizona. We've also, uh, the oyster mushrooms too are really good for mycoremediation. What they've been doing is taking straw bales that float, they inoculate them with the mycelium, mm -hmm. and they can actually put that in the ocean. It's it'll like soak up the um, it'll soak up the oil and get rid of the oil spot. Yeah, this so, does look a little like cauliflower. That one is known as lion's mane, and that's the one we're actually going to cook today. That lion's one's really compared man. to um, like a lobster or crab flavor. So we're going to do a real simple delicious. dish with that. So you, there is a place where you can go find these, but how, how much water do they take to grow? Well, they're going to want a humid environment. Usually if they're outside, they're going to fruit after it rains. So mm. the fruiting process, you get enough energy with uh, the mycelial mass really built up. Okay, and then after we get some a little bit of a humid uh, humidity, right. they'll pop out and you'll get your mushrooms. The cool thing too is they'll double their size every day. So oh, wow. they my really goodness. grow quick. Double this? That's impressive. That's about full size. So yeah. how do you how do you cook these up once you get them? Well, so that's, today, that's coming up next, isn't it? We're gonna it? do it at 945. Oh, okay. we're doing later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was, I'm sorry, I was jumping the gun. I was like, I will say do this, this though, like when I set, spread out my lawn seed, you know, and I overwater it, I'll yeah. get mushrooms sometimes. Yeah. And you're right, they just like pop Can up overnight. They go from nothing to uh, there. You never want to eat a mushroom that you're not familiar with. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, don't even risk it. There is a society that I belong to here in Phoenix called the Air on a mushroom society and they teach folks how to uh, identify proper mushrooms and have different foraging uh, activities that oh, you can go on with group. Do you have mixers and things with the There is society? a mushroom mixer, yeah, there's mushrooms. <laughs> and you try, and you try <laughs> mushrooms? Uh, well, you do that or you also go, like we went up to the rim and went and looked for them and, oh, and were successful. Oh, cool. and so like little outings. With, with guides, you know, because yeah. this is still semi-new to me. Hey, these Tony, are, I gotta wrap you, buddy. Yeah, no cool. problem. We got the music playing. These so we're good. gonna I come back it. in just a few minutes with Tony. We're gonna cook some, uh, some of these mushrooms. So okay. yeah, I'm excited. All right, right on. We'll be right back. I love it. To AZAM. Okay, we just threw a bunch of stuff into the cast iron skillet here. What do you have? You have a garlic. Really simple. It's butter, garlic, a little bit of thyme sprig, and we're going to do a little mm. uh, pink Himalayan well, The thyme sea sprig salt. is from your garden, you said? Yeah. Mm. So that that is nice. They're dried. German thyme. Then we've got the uh, lion's mane mushroom, mm. mushrooms here, which another really neat thing about mush uh, the lion's mane specifically. Yeah. Did you already put the pink Himalayan I haven't. Salt? So give it a nice, good, healthy dose of that. Mm. I would even say a little more. And just tell me when. Easy there. That should be pretty good. Morton lady. <laughs> <laughs> but the lion's mane is actually known as a neuroregenerator and has been used for um, anxiety, depression, dementia, and... This shroom? Yeah, so oh. you can buy it actually We're as a be healed after supplement. Eating these. Our brains will all start to work better, you know? Wow, that's um, cool. But it's, it's also, if you can kind of look at it here, it's got these kind of little stringy parts to it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what gives it almost a consistency of the crab or lobster. So a lot of times you could sub this uh, for a vegan or vegetarian option for your crab. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, no, butter's always great. Butter, salt, all the healthy oh. stuff Is there any such today. thing as too much butter? 
I don't think so. Yeah, me I think either. we'd be okay with People it. look at me weird, because I'll, I'll take, like, if I have a little potato roll or whatever, I'll take yeah. a piece almost that big and put it on a little potato nice roll. Nice and with the warm bread. It, yeah. I yeah. fully agree yeah. with that there. And you've already toasted up some toast here. Yeah, I just got some uh, sourdough French rolls here and just gave them a little crisp there. You could cut them a little thinner if you liked. Um, I kind of like the, the doughiness to them. So this one you said was more like a crab. What about this one right here, the pink one that we were showing off earlier? That one's actually kind of related to uh, bacon or ham. Mm. And so and it's got that color too, so you can actually toast it up or uh, crisp it up and have yourself a little uh, bacon replacement or ham replacement. So oh, that's, that's another cool. fun one too. This one is just my favorite, so I wanted to share it with yeah, you all. Yeah, no, the mushrooms cook up pretty quickly, don't they? They I mean, do. Two we, or three minutes, you're probably pretty good, right? Three exactly. The and then, uh, and you can actually get these guys um, at the market at Southwest Mushrooms at Phoenix Public Market on Saturdays, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that. Yeah, is that we, the market we were? Yeah, um, we're the, best oh, market? the Best Farmer's Market is Uptown. Up uptown, uptown. okay, yeah. right. Yeah, I know that. But, you know, we're going to put this on bread, but what other things can you do with these shrooms? So, you could actually take them and put them in, like, a pasta. A dish. Oh, great idea! I've taken them and I've made. Oh, thank you. I've made uh, fish tacos. I beer battered them and made mm. some fish tacos. You beer battered these? Yeah, and oh, then really? just That's like deep fried them. So what you do you right. use them as a meat substitute? Mm. And this we'll is like the best here. presentation ever. I'm sure all the chefs that are watching this are like, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, isn't that good? Those are really yeah, good. Yeah, it's really good. Isn't mm. it different? And you're right, it does have kind of the consistency of like a crab or... And then you got the garlic in there, the salt and the, the butter. It just really, it's just really kind mm. of mm. takes Four, it please. to the next level. No bit. problem. Yeah, it's so good. Tony that Grant, toast is amazing. How do people get a hold of you? I know you're like the king of... Uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about the king, but you can find me on Instagram, Tony Grows Food, um, or actually another website that I did with a trip across the United States is farmtrippin.com. Farmtrippin.com, love it. Oh, oh, great. So good. So this Good one you, you, you put on no bread. Problem. And uh, you talk about this all over your Instagram and social media. You always do recipes, and a lot of this stuff you grow in your own yard. Yeah, we do the oyster mushrooms are a little bit more aggressive of a, a grower as far as the mushrooms grow than the lion's mane. You mm. could grow mushrooms outside. Right now is a great time to do it, though. You can mm -hmm. um, purchase this stuff online. It's just like mushroom grain spawn. You right. can even grow these in your house. All you do is you cut a couple slits in there, you miss them once a day, and you put a little, kind of like a little and plastic tent, go. and this, they're good. The name of this one more time? Lion's Mane Mushroom. Lion's so Mane good. Mushroom. Tony, awesome. Hey, thanks so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you Happy guys New for Year. having me. Happy New Year to you as well. All right, uh, over here.